Hi guys, uh, yeah, so I just uh, thought of doing a video for you guys, it's been a long time, so I bought something uh, recently for my CO system, so I thought of sharing with you guys as well, I uh, got it really cheap, uh, usually it's about 30 bucks or something even on eBay, so I bought it off a website here, in, um, it was a bidding website in, in New Zealand, I um, uh, got it really cheap for like 5 bucks, so yeah that was pretty cheap it's it's like brand new and it's not being used so yeah this is a max mix co2 reactor so what it basically does is um it dissolves the co2 with the water so it's it's kind of a little bit similar to the inline um what's that inline diffusers <coughs> inline yeah so the, it's very similar to the inline diffusers so I've, I've, I don't have an inline diffuser, but at the moment I've got those um, uh, ceramic diffusers, um, so it, it, you know, that put us the bubbles um, in the in the aquarium. So um, it's good. Um, yeah, the CO2 actually uses up about 90% of the CO2, but because it's bubbles, you know, just get wasted. Uh, it's a small amount that get get that get wasted, but um, anyway, so I got it really cheap, so I bought it. I'm gonna fill it up into my filter. Um, so this one I'll just uh, I'll just unbox for you guys and just go through this thing for you. Um, I've heard that um, CO2 reactors, uh, this one especially, do a really good job. Probably I think you will utilize about 99% of the CO2 if I am not wrong. Uh, so that's what it does. It's a really it does a really good job. What it does is actually uh, sends the CO2 into this. Um, tube here and then um, the water flows into this and then goes back into the uh, filter so actually the CO2 completely dissolves with the water by the time it goes into the aquarium so so this one here it's a there's a manual for you guys uh, to uh, work it out how to set up to your filter so it's, it goes into a canister filter external canister filter basically so you got all the setup uh, with it's it's not much it's just a Chinese stuff so you know Chinese stuff you won't have much of a description but uh, you'll be able to figure it out it's really very easy um, so so these are the parts um, So you got three suction uh, cups uh, for the back here. So what it does it? Uh, you got you can stick it into your um, a cabinet if it can, uh, if it's if it's possible, or else you can just stand it as well. So you can probably glue it or anything like that. Use a bit of cello tape. Um, yeah. So. Uh, the only thing about this is it seems to be really very fragile um, uh, it seems like it could break any time uh, you know these things over here uh, these connections are where the filter tubes go and and this small one here is where the CO2 comes in so what happens is the CO2 comes in and uh, comes in through this uh, at the same time the water flows uh, from the filter through into this and get mixed mixed up with the water inside and then uh, goes back through the tube through the middle tube you can see another tube in the middle so it goes back through that middle tube uh, uh, all the way into the aquarium to the output line so yeah that's how it works um, so you got this at the same time it's a bit flexible as well the reason is uh, got these connections here uh, you know if your pipelines coming from the down or upwards or sideways you can you can turn this anywhere around you got all these um, bits and pieces and also if you want to set it up to um, see this this one here usually fits into what do you say a 12 to 16 millimeter uh, filter tube if I'm not wrong um, yep so 16 to 12 sorry 12 to 16 millimeter tube so if you want to go to a 16 to 22 millimeter tube if your filter is big like um i've got i've got eheims the 250s and 350s as well so um 
not the 350 the other one was that um 600 sorry 600 needs a bigger one like this so it's a, i think 16 to 22 millimeter um, tubes so what you can do is just connect this into here and then connect the hose on top of this but you've got to be really careful because it seems to be the quality is not that really good you can break it up quickly so you've got to work um very uh with a lot of patience with this uh piece of equipment here um and, uh, if you feel these things are not uh, gonna attach really properly with the with the uh, tubes and if you think you know you might have a spillover of the water just give me a second you can use those up you can use these ones uh, sorry I just went to fetch these things um, that you can tighten up the uh, I bought these as well when I when I won this thing so I bought a few of them for my others other filters as well so in case you know you want to make sure that it doesn't uh, break and then you know sometimes loosen up and then all the water uh, on the flow so you can use this to tighten up your filter tubes into this so, but be really careful uh, you could break it um, so yeah so that's that's about this uh, CO2 reactor um it's very good i should say it does a really good job which means you know you don't you don't actually waste any co2 but you know if you don't have one of these if you can't afford one of these it's it's all right you can still stick to stick to the uh diffusers you know the older methods um it's it still does a good job even on my tank it does a good job um i'll show you uh, but at the moment it's not switched on um see so that's the one i've got it's a ceramic uh, glass diffuser so um, what I'm gonna do is now um, I will change it you know so that you know the other thing is you won't have a lot of uh, stuff in your aquarium you know those little bits and pieces so you can, that's one of the other advantages you can put it into your under your cupboard into your filter yeah and it'll work really well so I hope you guys um, uh there yep yeah, the other one is you got two sizes in this so this is a large size and you got a medium size as well so a medium size would be okay it's it's more than enough you know it says uh see all these recommended water flows and all this it gives all those features as well um yeah but a medium should be enough for, as a, for a tank but see i, I really didn't want to buy it but i just did a small bait and then i got it really cheap so five five bucks for a large one is really cheap so i just took it i got a bigger filter though so i can fit it into that um these ones you need a minimum 600 liter like you know all those um 600 liter um the eheim ones are but i don't know different ones you got different models but as long as you got a turnover of uh what a turnover of thousand to two thousand liters per hour it'll work well um yeah so that's that's about this guys so it's um you should you guys should think about it as well if you if you're being uh not really happy with the so guys yep thank you so much for watching my video and um yeah please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do and also actually um guys uh, i'm also welcome to leave any comments about my video and um uh, thank you so much again for watching. Uh, see you guys next time. Yep, have a nice day. Bye-bye.